So the Chanel 22K pictures have just come out and courtesy of Shop With Crystals, they are the ones to release the early sneak peeks of the collection and I'm here to give my reaction to them. The 22K is releasing in September. This is an early time to have a look in store and see what you like and this is just a sneak peek. We have a lot of tweeds in this collection and we have the tweeds in this little kind of like a small purse. I quite like that it's a classic design. We have a more square version and we have a more rectangular version. Both come in this beautiful tweed pattern. So we have this white one, a black one, a blue one and a red one. And those are really, really cute. They also have a nice top handle there. So you can have that transition of having a top handle and then into a shoulder bag as well. So kind of like the new rectangular mini with the top handle, but I think this might be a little bit on the smaller side. Then they also have a lot of patent leather ones and they have an even larger size. So if you want that option to have a bigger size, you have it there. They have this more casual shape, kind of reminds me of the Gabrielle. So I don't know whether they replaced this bag with the Gabrielle, but it's more of a seasonal thing. But I kind of like this one. This one is a more relaxed looking bag. And I really like how the details on the strap, it's got these little CCs. It's kind of like that nice glitter that you can have in there. So it's really, really pretty. The smaller sizes they have a black leather one and they have a pink fabric one and the more larger size they have this nice purple and then also a black version and look at these more decorative pieces look at this intricate design on this little pink bag it's very very pretty and I love how it looks like a jewelry piece so that might be something I might look into so the pink one but also they have another greeny kind of pink color in a tweed this box i'm not sure what this is but it looks like a phone holder or something just to carry small items in it looks like a lipstick pouch but it's not really there yet it looks like you can fit about two or three lipsticks in there but that looks really cute not something that i'd buy but it does look cute we have a lot of mini bags here so these are more leather kinds this green one looks like a business affinity I think that's pretty cute but I think with these mini bags I don't think I'll be purchasing them because I think I've had enough with mini bags and another thing is that the trend it seems to be going back to a more functional bigger bag now think about the Chanel 22 the YSL big bag I think a lot of people want the Kelly's and Birkins in a large size especially the Birkin so they may be making a big comeback and you might see the prices of them increase a bit so then we have these chanel 22 bags so the chanel 22 bags they have been having a lot of problems but in my opinion i think they're all very beautifully designed i love the story that comes with it but in terms of their leather versions of them there have been a lot of problems associated with the peeling the cracking underneath the metal it started peeling underneath the metal the 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 surface of the leather started peeling. Real leather does not peel. There's a tiny little bit, it's probably really hard, I'm gonna put a picture up so that you can see it better, that there's a tiny little bit of cracking. I know a lot of people have been having letters fall off, hardware, but I don't think it's just the Chanel 22 bag alone. I think it's all their leather products. They've been having heart bags that the straps come off, the Chanel classic flaps with pop stitches, or even the texture of the grain is a bit different and it's just a multitude of problems. So I don't think it's the Chanel 22 alone, but I think it's just the whole quality issue as a general thing. But nevertheless, the leather versions, they may have problems, but with the tweed versions that they come out this season, we've just got to see what happens. And I'm not sure whether it's really tweed tweed because the pictures are quite small, but I do think it is more tweed but I think it's a little bit more sturdier than the more ruffled tweed that you usually see. I have my eye on the pink one because I am a lover of pink and I really love this pattern. And not only that, the black one and the gray one is really, really pretty. They also have this multicolored letter one not really a big fan of it because it does look a little bit childish in my opinion but it may be suited to someone who wants that little bit of pop of color but for me the pink one definitely 
I think I'm more steering towards pink. Then in the leather versions, we have a kind of muted mossy green and also this muted yellow. So it's very, very toned down. It's more of a neutral kind of autumn-y feel. And I actually really like this. In the larger size, we have a dark brown color and then a more creamy beige color. And it looks like the creamy beige color comes in silver hardware. So that's something new. Oh, and I noticed that the green one does have a silver hardware too. Then the infamous classic flaps. We have a lot of them in this tweed material kind of color. We have some beautiful pinks, like a hot pink, like what I have, but in the more material version, mine's the leather version. And then they have this beautiful Tiffany blue color, such a bright color, and it just looks stunning. And then in the mini rectangular, you have a more paler pink. It's kind of like a bubblegum girly pink, it's so cute. And then we have a gorgeous red. And it looks like the blue is in a champagne gold hardware, same with the baby pink. But it looks like the hot pink and the red, it's more of a silver hardware. And then you get the beautiful art pieces. These are the ones that are showstoppers. So, so intricate, so gorgeous. Those minis, I reckon they'll be quite pricey, but if you do get your hands on them, I think it will be beautiful. The same muted yellow and the mossy green. So those are gonna be the key colors of the leathers, I reckon, for this collection. We have it in the boy bag, the Chanel 19, the reissue. We also have this beautiful red color. It's kind of more of that autumn -y red beautiful and then we have the Deauville tote similar colorway to the Chanel 22 bags then they have the more SLGs and they have the vanity cases this pink and black one I love it this one is just very very pretty and then they have these little purses a little bit kind of like the wallet on chain but more miniature size and I just think they're really cute Oh, I like this belt bag that they have. They have this black one in this more card holder kind of shape. And then in the white one, they have a more kind of a thicker pouch. So it looks like you can fit some AirPods in there and that looks really, really pretty. Then we move on to the shoes. The shoes are something that I'm more interested in looking at because I have bought quite a few of their bags already. I'm kind of going more into their shoes, their accessories, and also their ready to wear. So they have their classic sling bags, but they came out with a more kitten heel than the kitten heel that they have. Then they have the traditional sling bags in such beautiful colors. They have this rainbow color and I think it will suit my rainbow reissue really nicely. They have this black pink kind of cute tweed and I think that's really pretty. And then the Chanel ballet flats, they have a pink one and then a pink and blue one. I like the pink and blue one, that's really pretty. They've got the sandals with the chain strap and then I love the boots that they are coming out with. So the more welly boots, I'm not too keen on. I really like this tweed black and gray heel. And also they have a taller heel, it's more classic looking and it's more of a suede material with the traditional toe cap. So that's really cute. And then in terms of jewelry, they have more of these AirPod cases. They look very cute. I wish I had the Apple AirPods, but I have the Samsung one. So it's very specific to what you have. And then they have the brooches, the necklaces, a lot of these heart-shaped themes going on. So I think with Virginia Viard, she's really bringing on loads of pinks because before they used to be quite rare, but now you can get pinks quite often and also a lot of hearts as well. And she just knows that the hearts and the pinks, they do really well. And especially on social media when we all talk about it. So these tweed looking hearts and all these heart rings, the earrings with the flowers look really cute. They have a whole range of these kind of pearly brooches. I like the bow one, that one's really cute, but I'm not too keen on the really large chunky earrings. I think this is as chunky as I'll go. Are you gonna check out the 22K collection? And if you wanna see more Chanel content, click over here and I'll see you there. Bye.